What's going on guys? Today's song is Dance Monkey by Tones and I. The song structure for this song is gonna be verse, pre-chorus, chorus, then another verse, pre-chorus, chorus, a bridge, and then end with one final chorus. So we're gonna break that into just three guitar parts, the part played in the verse and the pre-choruses, part played in the chorus, and the part played in the bridge. Let's get started right away with the part played in the verse and the pre-chorus. I'm going to be playing this one with a capo on the second fret. If you don't have a capo, you can check out my recommended one in the link in the description below this video. And then we're going to grab an E minor chord and start with the strumming pattern. So all I'm doing here is muting the first two strums and then playing down, down, up. If you want to mute, you can just put the side of your palm on the side of the guitar to just give it a kind of muffled sound. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and a little bit slower. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and so try that strumming pattern out. And when you can play that, we're going to try switching between four different chords, E minor, C, D, and B minor. And you can play the bar chord B minor if you're that good, but most of the time I just play the simple version here, and it's going to be a lot easier for most of you. If you still struggle with these chords, you can check out my free beginner course by clicking here or in the link in the description below this video. So we're going to play that strumming pattern on each chord twice before switching. The full verse and pre-chorus is going to sound like this. And then moving into the chorus, we're going to keep the same chord progression, just change up the strumming a little bit to make it a little bit fuller and livelier, to make the chorus more energetic, and that's what makes you want to dance along to it. So grab an E minor chord, and all we're doing here for the strumming is starting with the same thing we played in the verse and pre-chorus. You've already done that part, and then the second half, I'm going to start with a mute, except I'm not going to strum, I'm just going to stop the strings from playing to give it a rhythmic kind of beat, and then I'm going to do an up, down, 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 up. So that's going to be... So that one might take you a little bit to get the feel for it, but it does give it a cool rhythmic groove to the song that really get everyone you're playing for dancing along. You're going to play that strumming pattern on each of the chords before switching, and the chords again are the same as they were in the verse and pre-chorus. And that's it for the second part of the song. The third and final one is the part played in the bridge, and this is going to be the easiest of all. All we're going to do, again, is the same chords, but we're just going to do single strums. Simple and easy like that, it does not have to be complicated to sound great. That one's going to be easiest if you just follow along with the chords and lyrics in the description below and change chords where the lyrics change, then try to time it out. Sometimes it's just the easiest to just follow along with the chords and lyrics. And if you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to get more videos like this, and hit that notification bell so that you get notified of each new upload I post. All right, I got that. Uh, that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>